the simultaneous equilibrium of ISLM cubes. The simultaneous equilibrium in the goods and money markets is obtained where the cubes IS and LM cross each other, obtaining an equilibrium point E for an interest rate I sub zero and an income level Y sub zero. For this point, the goods market is in equilibrium. Therefore, income equals the aggregated demand. Moreover, the money market is also in equilibrium, thus the money demand equals money supply, M divided by P. What does it happen if an expansive fiscal policy is applied? For example, if public expenditure increases? If public expenditure increases, the IS curve shifts to the right until the curve IS prime. In this case, the point E sub zero is not longer an equilibrium point in the goods market, since the increase in expenditure has led to an increase in the aggregated demand, and this will be higher than the income level. Therefore, there will be an increase in the income level. However, while this is increasing, the money market will be not in equilibrium, since we are not on the LM curve. This fact will determine that the interest rate increases getting on the LM curve. This process will continue until we reach a new equilibrium point between the IS and the LM curves, that is to say, in point E sub 1. The final result shows that the income level has increased from Y sub 0 to Y sub 1, and the interest rate has increased from I sub 0 to I sub 1. What does it happen if an expansive monetary policy is applied? For example, if the money supply increases? An increase in money supply leads to a parallel shift of the LM curve to the right to LM prime. Now the point E sub zero does not represent an equilibrium point in the money market, since the increase in the money supply means that money demand is lower than money supply in the money market. This imbalance is quickly adjusted through a decrease in the interest rate until the level I sub 1. But for this new point, the goods market is not in equilibrium because we are not on the IS curve. Now the process is similar to the one described previously. The income will start to increase and the money market will be not in equilibrium and the interest rate will raise to reach the equilibrium. This process will continue until we reach a new point where the IS and LM curves cross each other, thus reaching a new equilibrium point E sub 1. The final result is that the income level has increased to level Y sub 1 and the interest rate has decreased till I sub 2.